multicolor Corex Y printer under 400 bucks, count me in. So last week Flashforward sent me their new AD5X to review, and after a few days of printing I can finally share my first impressions. Spoiler alert, this thing is seriously cool. The setup is super beginner friendly. The printer comes mostly assembled and all you need to do is follow a few steps to get it running. It takes about 10 minutes and you're ready to print. All the parts are safely packed inside the printer with plenty of foam. In the box you get all the tools for setup and maintenance, some filament samples, the IFS module or the intelligent filament system that handles filament swaps, a mounting bracket, a 4-in-1 guide tube and 4 spool holders. Assembly is straightforward. The screen is pre-connected so just remove the screws and the bracket and slide the screen into the frame to lock it. Install the IFS bracket, twist and lock the IFS module. Then connect it to the back port and secure the cable. Attach the spool holders to the numbered brackets on the side. Everything is numbered, so there is no mix-ups here. The PTFE adapter is pre-assembled, so just click one end into the tool head and slide the other end into the IFS. Attach the tool head cable in place. And finally, remove the three transport screws from the printer bed. And that's it. Power it on, connect to Wi-Fi, create or login into your account, and the printer runs its initial calibrations automatically. The slicer is Orca-based, which is basically the standard now. The touchscreen is fairly responsive, and the menus are pretty intuitive. Loading filament is easy, just secure the spool, feed a little bit into the IFS, and then the printer takes over. You select the filament type and color on the screen. What I found really cool is that the printer handles almost any TPU, and even does multicolor TPU prints. None of my other printers can do that without super specific types of TPU. You can also mix materials in one print, like PLA supports for TPU or PETG supports with PLA. As expected, it dumps waste filament in the back, so the first thing I printed was a little hanging poop bucket, and it came out absolutely flawless. Another surprise, there's an Ethernet port. If you're worried about privacy, you can skip the Wi-Fi and run it on your local network. Prints start automatically after slicing and sending to the printer. And this thing is fast. I mean, really fast. Every test print so far has been fantastic. Flashforge also sent me two rolls of their Aurora Sparkle PLA, and the purple one is gorgeous. I printed a Gengar figurine with default settings, and with just a tiny flashing volume adjustment, it would have been perfect. I also tried a classic Crystal Dragon, and again, flawless. I'll be posting more prints and tests soon, so stay tuned. If you want more info, check the links in the description on my bio, or drop a question in the comments. For now, I am really impressed. This is a solid, beginner-friendly machine with a lot to offer at a budget price. Stay tuned for more.